I have noticed there is a strange phenomenon that affects 99% of the population when it comes to committing to new, up-and-coming ideas or technology. Some would call it procrastination, just putting off till tomorrow what you could do today. But I believe that it's even more concerning than people just kicking the can down the road a bit further. What I see most people doing is looking back at something like the rise of Bitcoin and saying things like, I wish I'd bought Bitcoin 10 years ago, or I wish I'd bought Tesla shares when they had their IPO. It's the if only mindset. If only I'd done this or if only I'd done that. If you think about it, buying some Bitcoin or some Tesla shares back in the day would not have been a big risk considering how cheap they were at the time. Sure it would have been a gamble, but let's say that a person invested $85 to buy Tesla shares at IPO in 2010. If Tesla had gone bankrupt, they would have lost $85. No big deal. But what actually happened is that those 5 shares would have been split twice to make 75 shares and the owner would now have shares worth $16,485, a profit of $16,400 in 14 years. Now, I'm not suggesting that people rush out and buy Aptera shares today, because that isn't really possible since crowdfunding closed about a month ago. That isn't really the opportunity that is being offered here. The opportunity is to spend $70 and reserve a launch edition Aptera, knowing that Aptera is now well on track to start production in 2025 of the most advanced, most efficient electric vehicle ever mass-produced. In the last few days, Aptira just announced a critical change to the way they are going to make this vehicle, and although some are disappointed with this change, it answers quite a few critics who were skeptical about the in-wheel motors which were going to be supplied by LAF, a startup company which were going to supply their motors to several other companies, including Lightyear and Lordstown. But both of those companies are now not going ahead with production. Instead, Aptira has seen the writing on the wall, and as Alaf don't have enough capacity to make the number of motors Aptira needs, Aptira is going to buy what is known as an e-axle from a German company which has been around for 100 years, formerly known as Continental, but now known as Vitesco Technologies. Vitesco will be supplying their EMR-3 e-axle to Aptira. The EMR-3 is a front-wheel drive drivetrain which includes a 150 kW electric motor and inverter, a transaxle and differential. This is a compact but powerful drive unit which has been used in over 1 million electric vehicles made by mainstream manufacturers such as Honda, Peugeot and Opel. In case you wanted to know what EMR stands for, it's Electronic Motor Reducer. All of this is to say, Aptira is on the final stretch of its marathon journey to production. 48,000 of these unique three-wheeled solar electric vehicles have already been pre-ordered by discerning would-be buyers and you could be one of them. But here's a tip for you, if you weren't already aware, you don't have to wait for all of those 48,000 vehicles to be produced before you take possession of your own Aptira. If you order the launch edition, you will only have to wait for a fraction of that number to be produced. First, Aptira will make the 2000 launch edition vehicles ordered by members of the Aptira Accelerator program, then they will make all other launch edition customers' vehicles. That may amount to less than 10,000 vehicles so you could potentially have your vehicle by late 2025 or early 2026 as long as you live in North America and possibly in Europe, where there will also eventually be a production facility. So, reserve your Aptira now for $70 using the discount link in the description box below and sit back with some popcorn and watch the fun as Aptira goes all the way to the finish line. If you can't afford to lose $70, don't bother, as that means you also can't afford the vehicle. In about 12 months you will find out if your gamble has paid off. If you're not making your reservation today, please comment, like, subscribe, share etc. anyway to support this channel. Thanks and have a great day.